All right, guys, on to the last problem. I'm working on number 24 on our Monday Star Review. Number 24 is saying the graph below best represents which of the following relationships between temperature and time. And as you know, time is along your x-axis, temperature is along your y-axis. So this looks like a, the following process. Uh, first, temperature is increasing. And then at some point, there's a break and we are decreasing the temperature slowly all a while the time passes on or goes by. So let's see which scenario out of the four scenarios best describes that. Uh, actually, I'm going to start from the bottom. I like, to wake, I like to work my way up. So let's look at D. It says here the room temperature of a gym after the air conditioner is turned on. So this tells me that first the room temperature of a gym is pretty high. Otherwise, there would be no reason for us to turn on the AC. So that means the graph will actually have to start up here because the temperature is already a little bit higher. So there's no need to increase the temperature first. It's already up there. And then the air conditioning is turned on and the room gradually cools. So the graph would look something like this. So the, it's definitely not going to be D. Well, let's look at C. The temperature of a hot container or of a container of hot tea after placing several cubes of ice in it. Well, this is similar to the, to the last answer because our hot tea container is already, like it says, really hot. So it actually starts up here. And we want maybe iced tea. So we need to cool down the entire container very quickly by dropping a couple of ice cubes in it. That means we're starting up here and we're going down really quickly, maybe towards the end where it's slowing down a little bit. Again, it's really hot already, so there is no need for us to add heat to increase the heat even more. Okay, so it's not C. So it's between A and B. Well, let's look at B. B says the temperature of water that is heated on the stove, removed, and then allowed to cool. So that means in the first part, temperature of water that is heated on the stove. That means we are uh, increasing the temperature of water on the stove. Then we are removing it from the stove because maybe it reached its boiling point. We're done. We're setting it aside and we're allow, allowing it to cool off for some time. Mm. Looks like it could be it. Well, let's circle it. Let's see what A gives us and then we'll compare. A says the oven temperature while a cake is baking. Hmm. This is interesting. So you are preheating an oven. You are putting the cake in the oven, you're closing the oven, and then you leave the cake in there for a certain amount of time at a constant temperature, say at 300 degrees. So that would actually give us a constant line, horizontal line like that. So it's definitely not A, and our answer will be B.